वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेशन एट फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड द टॉपिक इज एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक ऑन एयर ऑफ सर्फेस एंड दिस सेशन इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द सेशन नंबर सेवन सो इन द सेशन नंबर सेवन वी हैव टेकन अ केस इन विच द ब्लॉक वॉज मूविंग इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन ऑन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एन एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एफ हियर आई हैव टेकन a similar case but here the block is moving in the downward direction with an acceleration a in spite of the uh, this external force f acting in the upward direction that is along this inclined plane in the upward direction but even after the application of this force this external force along this inclined plane in the upward direction this block is moving in the downward direction so in this case we are supposed to find the net acceleration here the mass of the block i have taken uh, as m and the coefficient of the kinetic friction is mu this uh, coefficient of kinetic friction between the this uh, inclined surface and the block so uh, in this case as i have told you in the uh, previous session that the block will move uh, in a particular direction only when the force is the net force acting on that block in that direction is more than the uh, net force acting in the opposite direction that is in this case the block will move in this downward direction the block will move in the downward direction if the net force in the downward direction is greater than the net force on the body in the opposite direction that is this block will uh, this block will move in this downward direction if the net force acting in this downward direction is greater than the net force on the body in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction along this inclined plane so uh, now here uh, we can see here this uh, the angle of inclination of uh, is of this uh, plane is uh, theta and uh, the weight of this since the mass of the block is m so the weight will be acting vertically downward which is equal to mg now the normal reaction it will it always acts perpendicular to the surface so the direction of the normal is uh, i have already indicated this with the help of this arrow and this is always perpendicular to the surface and now what i will be doing is i will be resolving this weight into two components that is one will be along uh, this along the uh, plane uh, in this direction and the other component will be uh, uh, will be perpendicular to this uh, this inclined plane so this component since this angle is theta so this angle will also be equal to theta and uh, the this co this component will be equal to mg cos theta and this will be equal to mg sin theta so the component of the weight which will be acting in this direction okay along the uh, this uh, um, this inclined plane uh, it will be equal to mg sin theta and uh, this normal reaction uh, will be acting in the uh, upward direction because it always acts per, um, uh, this perpendicular to the surface and the uh, uh, this uh, component that is mg cos theta is that component of the weight which will be acting perpendicular to this inclined plane in the direction 
given by this arrow so uh, now um, what i will be doing is here now since the uh, coefficient of anti friction is mu and since the block is moving in the downward direction and the as we know that the of uh, uh, this frictional force or the friction it uh, opposes the relative motion so since the block is coming downward so the frictional force will be acting in the upward direction like this so the frictional force we have this will be acting uh in this direction let us say i'm just denoting this like this and i am taking the frictional force as fs so now here you can see that the uh, forces which are acting in the upward direction is the external force and the force of the this frictional force and the and the force which is acting in the downward direction is only mg sin theta so in this case uh, uh, what we can do is that we will now simply find the net weight which will be acting on this block sorry net force the net force which will which will be acting on this block net force on the block will be equal to because this block is moving in this downward direction so this force that is mg sin theta will be more than the sum of these two forces so i will be writing as mg sin theta minus f plus fs where fs is the frictional force so this is equal to mg sin theta minus f minus now fs fs is equal to mu into n mu and n is equal to mg cos theta so i will be uh, writing this the value of fs as mu mg cos theta now the net force on the block is equal to mg sin theta minus f minus mu mg cos theta So it implies that um, if the acceleration of the block is uh, uh, is a, then we can write that m a is equal to m g sine theta minus f minus mu m g cos theta, or we can simply write that the acceleration of the block in the downward direction will be equal to mg sin theta minus f minus mu mg cos theta divided by m so this is the acceleration of this block in the downward direction uh, when it is moving uh, um, along this incline plane in the in the downward direction and uh, and here uh, in this case we have uh, applied an external force f and is uh, even after the application of that force the block is moving in the downward direction so in that case the acceleration of this uh, block uh, in the downward direction as uh, indicated by this arrow will be equal to mg sin theta minus f minus mu mg cos theta divided by m so uh, so uh, while solving uh, these uh, type of questions the most important thing which you have to keep in mind is that a block will move up and down or back and forth uh, depending on the uh, net force which is acting in that direction if the block the block will move uh, in the forward direction only when the net force acting in that direction is um, uh, when the net force is, is acting in that direction the block will move in the downward direction that is, that is in this case that is it is it will move along this inclined plane in the, in the downward direction when the net force acting in this direction is more than the net force acting in this direction that is in the upward direction so uh, uh, using the, uh, 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 these concepts you can find the value of this acceleration 
so thank you very much for joining this session that is the session number 8 and in the next session i will be coming up with a couple of questions which will be based on these uh, uh, concepts so thank you very much and have a nice day bye